At the front of that, there's a nearly 200 meter long antenna, filled with advanced optical cameras and sensors of all kinds. On the sides of the ship, in the middle, there's a series of 24 discoidal ships, 12 on each side as if embedded in the hull, and behind the rectangular doors that protect them. These are the life-saving escape ships. That Oleka, the ship, has a boom or a long thick antenna at the front with many sensors of all kinds. Among them they have cameras with some lenses over 2 meters in diameter that can read a newspaper from above and more. That's the eye in the sky. It's the eye of Horus. From here, through sensors, we learn about aircraft traffic, human and non-human aircraft on Earth, and flying high and low orbit atmosphere. The problem is that all Europe, among other places, is an area of very high traffic of all kinds of ships, including regressive ships. It is not easy even for us to see what each one is doing. This is basically what the Tolica looks like inside. 1,734 meters of ship length. Thank you. And what color is it on the inside? The ships are mostly very light gray inside or white. The corridors have black or dark grey non-skid flooring, however, as decorations, the ships have motifs in a colour that represent each ship, so inside, they will have details in that colour. This ship has motifs or details in red, while another one that is parked to our right has the same details but in blue. I'm referring to details such as interior stripes, door frames, armchairs, kitchen area tables, etc. However, the bridge area is much larger on a ship like this than on the one depicting the Enterprise from Star Trek. The use of round tables is also widespread here because of the equality of position involved. So the dining room is similar as well? Yes, but in the movie Passengers it looks bigger than ours here. Also, we have chairs that are kind of more wraparound, like in some lounges. And the gym looks like something like that? That's from the movie The Martian, yes. Except we don't have a curved floor because we don't use centrifugal force to generate artificial gravity. The windows in the gym are also rectangular with rounded corners and the equipment is already there. It doesn't come out of anywhere. But we also usually have equipment in our bedrooms. Like I have a running machine here, behind me, to my right. Does the green area look like this? Yes, very similar, and in the first image, also from Passengers. I highly recommend watching that movie. It also addresses some of the psychological problems of living on a big ship for a very long time. And how do you decorate the ship? It is characterized by not having much interior decoration, as seen here in this picture, as a typical corridor. There is nowhere to decorate, only in the central areas, like that one that reminds me of a shopping mall. And the walls? What color are they? Like in the hallway, light grey with white, or titanium steel metal color. A lot of white too. As you can see, the atmosphere can be very sordid. Curves in hallways, the edges, are they rounded or squared? There is no one shape, depends on the place inside the starship. But the most common shape for a passageway is this one in the image. There are very few right angles inside. That is, where the ceiling meets a wall, it will be curved. 
and almost never a 90 degrees angle. And each crew member has a room? Like a hotel room here on Earth? Yes, each crew member has his or her own room that at minimum consists of a window whose frame serves as a bed with audio, air and communication controls around it, a computer terminal, and a full private bathroom, more technological. The room is decorated according to the taste and needs of each crew member. There are also larger rooms or cabins, for a couple or for people who need more space which even include a private study and a larger bathroom, all decorated with great care and not so technologically. And to get an idea, your cabin. For example, what's it like? Like an apartment on the ship? It's similar to all the other large official cabins, not the small crew cabins. I just took it because it's closer to the elevator, the bridge and CIC and closer to other people I'm very close to. It's officer's quarters, large, like a mini apartment. Close to the elevator. Yes, about 10 meters away. Why? It's well thought out, but remember, it's good to walk. Yes, but a lot of times I have to get to the bridge or CIC in a hurry. Also, it's on the port side of the ship and not on the starboard side. So as the ship rotates clockwise around the Earth, I have a view looking down. On the other side, I would only see stars and the moon in the distance. That's nice. Views of the Earth. Why in a hurry? Because emergencies come up all the time. All kinds. In the big cabins, are there rooms or is it all open plan? I don't understand open plan. Open plan is without walls. All your room is open. There are walls. It is a large room containing bedroom and small living room with window to outside and a study. Upstairs four steps to the front door and another room with another living room. And at the end of the big bathroom, complete with everything and a walk-in closet almost as big as the bathroom itself. And you have a big window that is floor to the ceiling high? But with the bar in the center. Pillar, not bar. Wow. There are two windows. It is structural. But a Tolica officer's cabins are bigger. And can the window be lowered like in this picture? Or is there some kind of holographic mechanism that obscures the glass? Yes, it can be lowered, like in the picture. Wow. Would the lighting environment be similar to these images? Or would you have more light? How does the lighting work in the cabins? You control how much light. And the decoration? Can you decorate it any way you want? It is difficult to decorate because the walls, bulkheads, open up and are the containers for your things. Could you put two apartments together? No, the bulkheads are structural. How do you access your room? What's the entrance like? And do you need a code to get in or is that not necessary? No need. You enter through a door that slides to one side. It's pneumatic, but you can close it or leave it programmed for a cat to enter if it wants to. It opens and closes after the cat goes through. As happened just a moment ago here, my cat Calico came in. The door opened, she came in, it closed again. And now she's bathing with her tongue at the window, looking down. She wants me to open the half-open curtain. Cats know how to be very cosmic. They adapt very well to life on a ship. If you don't open a door, they eat jump towards the sensor. Does each cabin have a garden? No, the gardens are separate. Gosha says you have a swimming pool there. How deep is it? Is it very deep? Yes, there is a big pool. It goes from one meter to three meters deep, with a window to space. Wow, it is very nice. And how long and wide is it? To get an idea. 20 meters long by 10 meters wide, more or less. 
Not super big, but decent. And the water is warm? Yes, that's from the movie Passengers. It's the best example of what one of these ships looks like inside. Except that in our pool, the window is rectangular with rounded corners. That's nice. Do you see that from the pool? Yes, like in the movie. One part of the pool is transparent and faces outside. That's why that movie is the best one that has the ship interior most like this one. And is that similar to your ship? This image? Yes, in essence. Not the same. The pool on the outside in Passengers. It's not like that here. The window is flat. It must be amazing. After being here for five years, you take things for granted. Is anyone there in the pool? I can't tell. I don't babysit them so they don't drown. But it is used. The girls are not allowed to go there without adults. Drowning in the pool because the ship lost artificial gravity, that's feasible. Let's hope that doesn't happen. It happened to you once. I remember you were levitated with the cats and everything fell all of a sudden. On the Ventra, against a relay box, yep, that ship is prone to lose gravity. I got hurt in two places, I cracked my head open. And the cats wiggled their little paws in the air. Yes, but that was another time. But in the whole ship or just in one part? No, the Ventra was losing gravity in sectors. Anyway, a big ship has multiple systems. And it has never been known why. No. That's serious. But today they replaced almost all the gravity generators on the Ventra.